Today is Monday, May 22nd, 2023. I received this word at 104 this morning. I asked the Lord, the Lord who this word is going to be for. He said the following. Those who treat my grace as a common thing. Those who have chosen their sin over salvation. Those who reject me. Those who have not made me Lord of their life. This is what he said. Hear the word of the Lord. You will all perish if you do not repent. I am about to pour out my wrath upon the earth. If you are not for me, you are against me. I call and cry out all day to a people whose ears have gone dull. Why won't you hear me? Why do you reject my outstretched arm? I, who created you from nothing. I, who knew you before you took your first breath. I watched over you in the womb. I fed you. I cared for you. I provided for your every need. Sorry, I provided your every need. Shall I continue to pour out my generosity on such an ungrateful people? Everything you have, I supplied. Where do you think it comes from? Yet there is scarcity and there is lack, extreme poverty. When I created more than enough for everyone, do not blame me for this. Greed and selfishness has brought this upon you. How can a nation so plentiful be so discontent? What will I provide? Will what I provide never be enough for you that you should always want more? What happened to loving your neighbor as yourself? Many of you shut your eyes to the suffering you see around you, but then get angry when your needs are not met. There is such entitlement among you. Why are you expecting treatment from others that you wouldn't? Give if the tables were turned. Shall I, the sovereign Lord, bow down to your commands? Who are you to demand anything of me? Was my sacrifice not enough? Was my suffering in vain? I shed my blood for you to escape eternal judgment. They drove nails the size of daggers into my hands and feet. I was mocked. They stripped away my flesh with every lash I took for your healing. What greater love is there than this to lay one's life down for one's friends? You are my friends if you obey my commands. Your pride has reached such an enormous height that you refuse to seek my face, but it is my chastisement that brought you peace, a peace that only I can give. There is no rest for the wicked. Only my children can enter into my rest. Why are you choosing death for temporary pleasure and worldly comforts that are temporal and fleeting? I promised you life and life more abundantly. Still you choose sin and death. I prepared a place for you to be with me forever. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard the things that I have in store for those who love me. I am calling you home. I am waiting for you, my child. These, Those of you who have ears to hear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. I am coming back for my bride, a bride without blemish or spot. Clothe yourself in robes of righteousness a righteousness I freely give to those who call upon my name. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call upon me while I am near. Seek me and you will find me. Time is running out. Your sins can be forgiven. I can wash away the stain of your transgression. If you will just believe that I am he. Israel's Messiah, the Lion of Judah, 
the one true living God. Repent and believe. The Lord wants me to finish this, and it is lengthy, but I would encourage every single one of you to stick with this until the end. This is Nehemiah chapter 9. I'm going to read from the English Standard Version. And starting, starting at verse 6. You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their hosts, the earth and all that is on it, the seas, and all that is in them. And you preserve all of them, and the host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord, the God, who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans and gave him the name Abraham. You found his heart faithful before you and made with him the covenant to give to his offspring, the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite, and you have kept your promise. For you are righteous, and you saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard their cry at the Red Sea and performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants and all the people of his land, for you knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers, and you made a name for yourself, as it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them, so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land, and you cast their pursuers into the depths as a stone into mighty waters. By a pillar of cloud you led them in the day, and by a pillar of fire in the night, to light for them the way in which they should go. You came down on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them right rules and true laws, good statutes and commandments. And you made known to them your holy Sabbath and you commanded them commandments and statutes and a law by Moses, your servant. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger and brought water for them out of the rock for their thirst. And you told them to go in to possess the land that you had sworn to give them. But they and our fathers acted presumptuously and stiffened their neck and did not obey your commandments. They refused to obey and were not mindful of the wonders that you performed among them. But they stiffened their neck and appointed a leader to return to their slavery in Egypt. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and did not forsake them. Even when they had made for themselves a golden calf and said, this is your God who brought you out of Egypt and had committed great blasphemies. You and your great mercies did not forsake them in the wilderness, the pillar of cloud to lead them in the way, did not depart from them by day, nor the pillar of fire by night to light for them the way by which they should go. You gave your good spirit to instruct them and did not withhold your manna from their mouth and gave them water for their thirst. Forty years you sustained them in the wilderness, and they lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, and their feet did not swell. And you gave them kingdoms and peoples, and allotted to them every corner. So they took possession of the land of Sihon, king of Heshbon, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. You multiplied their children as the stars of heaven, and you brought them into the land that you had told their fathers to enter and possess. So the descendants went in and possessed the land, and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their hand with their kings and the peoples of the land, that they might do with them as they would. 
And they captured fortified cities and a rich land and took possession of houses full of all good things, cisterns already hewn, vineyards, olive orchards, and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate and were filled and became fat and delighted themselves in your great goodness. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you and cast your law behind their back and killed your prophets who had warned them in order to turn them back to you. And they committed great blasphemies. Therefore, you gave them into the hand of their enemies who made them suffer. And in the time of their suffering, they cried out to you and you heard them from heaven. And according to your great mercies, you gave them saviors who saved them from the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before you. And you abandoned them to the hand of their enemies so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they turned and cried to you, you heard from heaven. And many times you delivered them according to your mercies. And you warned them in order to turn them back to your law. Yet they acted presumptuously and did not obey your commandments, but sinned against your rules, which if a person does them, he shall live by them. And they turned a stubborn shoulder and stiffened their neck and would not obey. Many years you bore with them and warned them by your spirit through your prophets, yet they would not give ear. Therefore you gave them into the hand of the peoples of the lands. Nevertheless, in your great mercies, you did not make an end of them or forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. Now, therefore, our God, the great God, the mighty and the awesome God, who keeps covenant and steadfast love, let not all the hardship seem little to you that has come upon us, upon our kings, our princes, our priests, our prophets, our fathers, and all your people since the time of the kings of Assyria until this day. Yet you have been righteous in all that has come upon us, for you have dealt faithfully and we have acted wickedly. Our kings, our princes, our priests, and our fathers have not kept your law or paid attention to your commandments and your warnings that you gave them even in their own kingdom and amidst your great goodness that you gave them and in the large and rich land that you set before them, they did not serve you or turn from their wicked works. Behold, we are slaves this day in the land that you gave to our fathers to enjoy its fruit and its good gifts. Behold, we are slaves and its rich yield goes to the kings whom you have set over us because of our sins. They rule over our bodies and over our livestock as they please, and we are in great distress. Because of all this, we make a firm covenant in writing on the sealed document are the names of our princes, our Levites, and our priests.